it's movie night and uh, I could not wait to make this guacamole dip. Country Home Creations uh, from Michigan. So they do have a website, countryhomecreations.com. And uh, so it says, add the guacamole mix to one eighth cup of water. And then you're supposed to let that sit for 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Now I did have these La Tortilla Factory uh, tortillas in my freezer. So um, I pulled those out. They are six net carbs. I did try this. See, my bag was opened. Um, I did try it and it was very nice and soft. It is a wheat uh, tortilla. The ingredients are, you know, pretty okay, but these were really good. But now that they've been frozen, I just want to fry them up. Um, so uh, there's some Aldi's Casa Mamita, uh, one of my favorite um, salsas. I thought that this red gold uh, petite diced tomatoes with green chilies would go great in this. The recipe calls for three to five ripe avocados. Um, and I didn't have cilantro in my uh, herb garden like I thought, but these are large, so that should be plenty. I really thought that an eighth of a cup of water wasn't enough here, but it's only been five minutes so far. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think a quarter cup would have been too much though. Here's the avocados. They are really stunning. They're perfect. So I'm going to scoop them into this bowl. I now have the spices mixed into the avocado. And lastly, we're gonna grab the red gold. Petite diced tomatoes, green chilies with lime and cilantro. So everything that I would want is in here. This makes quite a bit. So next I'm gonna get a cover and into the fridge it goes for one hour. Okay, I'm not sure which scissors is going to work best, but we will find out. I'm just going to cut these all up into triangles. There they are. I mean, this is the big old Costco version. And this was only, um, I believe it was only $5.99. Uh, which is why I bought this flour tortilla. <laughs> okay, so let's see. gonna cut like two at a time just into triangles looks like this one's working well just like that so these are like uh, perfectly cut little tortilla chips and uh, I'm going to continue this process with all of them, get on the plate, um, and then we're going to fry these babies up. Look at my beautiful mound of tortillas. It's, it's quite a bit of chips. Well, it will be chips, um, but this is the best way to do it. I have never have been successful with trying to bake these putting oil on top and seasoning and baking them. So um, I know people have tried to fry them and that is apparently successful. So we're going to try it tonight. Off to the fryer we go. My lard is ready. My light came on and this is my, uh, my <laughs> uh, grease of choice. Here I have 
one basket full. I made sure that they aren't sticking together. So I should be able to get this done in um, three batches. The seasoning I have here is the Sazanador uh, Total Perfect Seasoning. This is perfect for Mexican. I have never used the Flavor God Nacho Cheese Seasoning. I actually had to take off the, the seal uh, to try this tonight. Uh, I do like all of their other seasoning uh, profiles, so I'm sure that this would be good, and I thought that this would be the perfect time to use this. So we'll find out. It's been a few minutes, so let's see where we're at. Oh, it's looking good. All right. All right, let's flip them a bit. Let's get some from the bottom to the top. Oh, yes. Oh, they're looking pretty good. I think not overcrowding them is a good idea. I may do this in more batches. This is the first batch, and one thing is for sure. You have to watch this very closely. It cooks really fast once it gets going. And once you take some of them out, then it cooks even faster. <laughs> they look beautiful though. <laughs> when you do a big batch, it's too easy to, um, you know, overcook them. They're still cooking when you put them on the plate. I made this batch much smaller. And yeah, it looks like it's cooking. Yeah, this is about how much you want to do. You don't want to overdo this. No big batches. No big batches. You have to be patient. <laughs> This batch, I thought, all right, I'm going to take it out early. It didn't look like this when I took it out. It was early, and but it does look, see, this one's a, a bit overcooked. This seems about right. So I think, and it has a nice crunch, like that, see? It's a nice crunch. I think that's the ticket. You take it out when you don't think it's done. But almost done. <laughs> Check out my plate and my little spread over here. <laughs> In my 1960s silver lace. Yeah, I thought it would go all out. All right, we got to try this. Guacamole, I mean... So that piece was not very crispy. It's almost like you can't regulate the temperature in a little Cuisinart at home. Um, you know, not like at the restaurant. Let's try this one. Oh, it's much more crunchy. This guac dip is absolutely delicious. And that salsa, well, I've been eating it. I love this Aldi salsa. That's crispy. Mm. I will say that the Flavor God nacho cheese seasoning, I'm, I'm unimpressed. Um, I normally like their other stuff, and I don't know exactly what I paid for it. You'd have to check the website because I bought a big package deal at the time. I know I paid $70, so maybe it was for six spices. Uh, that's my best guess. This Goya, absolutely sensational with these chips. Perfect. That's all it needs. That's the last batch. I think it took like seven times, and as you can see, I'm kind of running out of lard and it's getting dirty. So um, I'm just going to finish this up and, uh, and <laughs> go watch a movie, finally. Thanks for coming by for another video, and I'm going to see you very, very soon.